Good morning! I'm finally getting the chance to do my American Haul video. because I actually am so excited. It has been so long and I'm now seeing this food out again for the first time in ages and it's kind of like Christmas for me. Coffee nut. You guys, these took me ages to find. I got so many recommendations on Insta. Everyone's like, try the coffee and I was like so excited thinking they're like super easy to find. No, they're not. Yes. So I had a little packet of these as well because I was crazy about them and they are to die for. It's mint. I'm kind of scared to put these ones in the cupboard because I feel like Tim will probably eat them all. It's been since he's gotten older, for sure. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. I mean, you sound like you're an old man. It's always a classic thing your parents would have like after dinner or they'd put them on the table at a restaurant and you were like, ew, I don't want them. Now, oh, so good. The last one, I think. <gasps> it is the last one. Pretzel. Oh, I love the saltiness of pretzels and so I feel like these ones are gonna be amazing. I got a lot of them. They're probably gonna take me a little while to get through, not gonna lie, just because there is so many. Yeah! Baking chips and add-ins and caramels. That's the main thing I actually wanted to get while I was over there because I was thinking 
I bake a lot, I make cookies a lot, and especially like all of the American bloggers that I follow, and Canadian for that matter, um, often have, you know, caramel chips, you know, butter chips and all this sort of stuff, and I am never able to get it, and so I was really excited to go grab some. First up, obviously, because they're my favorite, caramel. I've got a few caramel ones as well. I will use them a lot. Like caramel chips and cookies and brownies. Oh, I can't wait. Obviously, it's Nestle, so we get Nestle things too, but not by Scotch morsels. So, you know, girls gotta have a couple. Again, same brand. That's better. <laughs> I got pumpkin spice ones. So, you can't smell them through the packet, but. They look really good. Peace. Okay. Amazing. I saw these and on the back they have a little like toffee banana rum bread recipe and it's topped with these toffee bits. That is such a good idea. Like you always put chocolate chips on the stuff but having something that's crunchy, like proper crunchy on the top of like banana bread, muffin, cookies. Don't even get me started. I was so lucky to find these because I actually looked for them everywhere. Hershey's sea salt caramel. Salty caramel is literally my favorite flavor, like in the world. In the world. If you ever want to gift me anything, salted caramel is it. Oh, okay, yes, these two. I got the milk chocolate version of the toffee bits. So you like them a little honeycomb covered chocolate, creme baking chips. Yum. Peppermint chunks. Again, Gear Deli, amazing brand. I'm in love. Caramel bits, they're unwrapped, they look perfect. You know I'm going to put them in all of the above. Oh, I'm going to show you some coffee I got over there. Now, I actually saw these on someone else's channel. I can't remember who it was. Oh my goodness, because they were from the UK. It could have even been like Zoella or something. I love her. Like, oh, they probably won't have them in America, but then America kind of has everything. I've opened it. I couldn't help myself. What the label says is what it smells like, which like sounds silly because of course it would. But so many brands have different flavored things that just do not smell like the flavor they're saying. Salted caramel, maple nut crunch, and you know what? And I opened it because I couldn't help myself. Is the red velvet. So I got these mainly to try um, when friends come over or to have like little dessert coffees at night. They are so good. This is a chocolate cookie and cream swirl. So essentially it's like an Oreo one. Graham cracker and marshmallow one. So it's s'moresy kind of thing. So those two, I got Biscoff cookie butter. And every time they're like, yeah, use cookie butter. I'm like, you mean sub it for peanut butter because we don't have this stuff and it is so good. It has white chocolate in it. It's gonna be sweet and it's gonna be good. Pumpkin, lots of it. I've used a couple of tins already. Just got pureed pumpkin. Here, they cost like $6 a tin. Next one is from Whole Foods, and this was like a treat that I wanted to get myself for when I was being good during the week when I'm eating healthy. This one is peanut butter cookie dough frosting. That sounds funny in itself. The fact that I would buy a frosting just to eat a frosting, but like I don't need to frost anything. I'm just gonna eat it, obviously. So it's by Dollop, and it's from Whole Foods again. This is kind of a random one because like, you'll understand in a second. I'm slipping on all my desserts. Mayonnaise, but it is also vegan. Eggless mayonnaise. So another thing that I got from over there is PB2. I love this stuff, but again here it can be quite expensive. Older, fatter brother as well, like the big chunky one of it. It's a normal monster tub of it. Tim laughed at me when I got this because it was so big. But I got McCormick, or McCormick. I don't know how you guys say it, but I saw the ads on TV all the time. Like they have been the longest running company, I think for spices or food or whatever it is. Apple pie spice, like how cool is that? I think it's just a mix of like cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, but it kind of has like a, obviously apple pie-y flavor. All right, now I'm bringing out the big guns. These are the Oreos. Peanut butter, obviously. Red velvet, oh my gosh. Why do we not get these flavors? Come on. Uh, coconut cream ones, which obviously sound great. I love coconut, I love how it flavors things, so I even thought it'd be really cool as like a base of like maybe even a coconut cheesecake or something like that. These are gonna like stack up to here, I'm sure of it. For like a seasonal one, I'm not actually sure of the flavor. I just said winter ones, and I thought they were really pretty because they had the red. Oh, cookie butter. 
Like it could get any better. You're already eating a cookie and then you have cookie butter inside your cookie. Rob's going to be my favourite. Little bit disappointed that they're thins, but salted caramel. The reason I say disappointed that they're thins isn't because I don't like thins. It's because they're thin and I get less of them, which means I'm going to have to eat more of them to get the same flavour. Like that's ever a bad thing. <laughs> Whew, I'm getting a little bit hot under all this. Okay, apple pie. They've got an actual graham cracker flavoured cookie. I was actually in the store, people were like ravaging these ones. But I got some, and so I'm really excited. Pumpkin spice. And they are so good. Hot cocoa. And these obviously have a little bit of the cream in them as well. And these would be so good with just a cup of hot cocoa. I might even try them with my sister when we're watching movies and enjoying life. Kind of give you that feel, that warm, wintry, hot cup of chocolate feel. Whew, and we're done. All right, let me get rid of these. Oh, it's all right, guys. We're fine. That's hot work. Okay, I did get a lot of like random things here and there. So, maybe Ruth, I got a pack of six because I figured. Why not? I got Almond Joys. And these are all your recommendations, by the way, because I had no idea what Almond Joys were. You guys commented on my post a little while back before I left, and while I was over there, I think, and told me what things to get. So thank you so much for your recommendations. I can't wait to try them. Butterfinger. They're free. And I'm really happy. Wampers. <laughs> I just called them Wampers. I'm probably not going to be their brand ambassador anytime soon, but Whoppers! These look like our Maltesers, but it says the original malted milk balls. So I'm guessing these guys beat Maltesers to the party. I'm hoping they taste just as good, if not better. Milk Duds! Also got the Snickers little uh, six pack, but they're almond Snickers. So we have obviously the peanut Snickers, and I wanted to try the almond because I really like almonds. Had some pretzels. They're a little bit broken because of my suitcase, but cookies and cream and candy cane. I recommended and I thought, you know what, I'm here, I'm gonna grab them. And so yeah, just pretzels. I actually got to taste it in Whole Foods. So we've eaten a packet already and I got another packet because popcorn is life. Everything good in a bite. Sheila G's brownie brittle. It's maple cinnamon chickpeas. So I figured I was gonna love Butterfingers. All of you guys love Butterfingers and so I got them for my baking. Last but not least, I got, obviously from Whole Foods, nutritional yeast powder. I love this stuff and it's really hard to get in Australia. You make like cheese out of it, vegan cheese. You guys know I eat vegan a lot of the time. I got a massive bucket of it. Again, Tim laughed at me still, but I'm gonna say winning. So thank you so much for being so patient and waiting for so long to get this haul. Obviously I went through like a million things, but thank you, I really love all of your support and I really love all of your encouragement all the time. You guys are so beautiful to me and this year I'm really hoping to get onto Instagram and YouTube so much more. I'm going to make it my main focus. If you love any other American foods that I haven't tried, please let me know below because I'm still going to do some shopping on Amazon and stuff like that for some different recommendations that you guys had. So let me know. And if you loved this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. But thank you so much. And yeah, I can't wait to see you.